Wow, has been the lockdown. I know it's a time of fun, a time to fine tune in order to be fulfilled. I welcome you once again to this session, courtesy of the School of Articulation and Behavioral Alignment Resources. My name is James Komolafe, and it's a pleasure to bring this special classic to you on the 10 languages of your emotional ecosystems. I want you to know what your ecosystem is saying at the moment so that you can know whether to overhaul, so that you can know where to cross your T's and dot your I's based on the reality on ground. We told you in the previous episode that emotional ecosystems could be issues of the past before the critical moment. It could be current issues and it could be issues about the future. And so emotional ecosystem has come to be the situations and circumstances you create within yourself first in order to measure up with the current realities out there so that give and take you are still yourself so emotional ecosystems are circumstances around you now that favor what is on ground as to helping you to behave yourself well and never to tilt from who you are to who you are supposed to be in the final analysis because whatever is the situation on ground it has always come to go it will never be permanent just like some other plague came and went so also will COVID-19 pandemic go and I believe very shortly but before it goes you have to be in charge. You have to measure up so as not to mess up. Big time in your life and in your attitude. So each time you create an emotional ecosystem, it has the capacity to keep talking to you, informing you over your new position. Because in emotional ecosystems, you are only shifting your game in order to be your best self, given your circumstance at hand. So the first thing your current emotional ecosystem is telling you is like you have a system within you and around you to nurture. So you are responsible. To what happens within you and to what is going out of you so that you can keep your stability and you can keep your level of authority at the same time so that is the first thing your emotional ecosystem is telling you that you have your insight to nurture and you have issues around you to also nurture the second thing your emotional ecosystem is saying to you is that you need to connect with yourself in order to communicate with your surrounding. You should never be upset minded. You should not pretend or ignore. No, neither must you be ignorant because you see, a man can never operate in a new emotional ecosystem when he feigns ignorance. What goes around will always come around. So please connect with yourself so that you can communicate bolder and brighter. Then the third language is that you need to deepen your root into the ground like trees for his support so that you can shoot up higher as you aim up in life. 
so your emotional ecosystem is saying deepen your root now you are not at the previous level don't stay on the surface go deeper down so that you can catch new fun new realization and new level of experience and the fourth thing your emotional ecosystem is telling you is that you are at the center of it all you create your own universe whatever surrounds you inside out is a product of your personal willingness it's your own making life is about production not just protection and preservation only and by deliberate creation you can attain that that is what your emotional ecosystem is saying you need to hear that i hit the ground running creating something number five language of your emotional ecosystem is saying is that you have the capacity to take care of yourself first you are in the shadow of responsibility and responsibility has three quotient in behavioral health one we want to see the activity you are involving we want to see the ability you are engaging and the reality around your life so those three must work together to make you responsible to your ecosystem the sixth language of your emotional ecosystem is that you reflect your personality by alignment to the universe around you and the seventh is that you need to take care of yourself in order to take charge of your inside first where your mind your will your emotion your imaginations your feelings and your passions are all important you don't allow them to stray anyhow because you are taking charge you are in control you are quick to hear slow to speak and three things need to happen before you can be in charge and you take care of yourself one you need to discover your concept who am i inside out discover it discover your weakness your strength discover the opportunities that are open up for you discover what are your threats and then number two under that you need to develop consciousness over what you have discovered otherwise you don't be skimming on the surface of your life so that calls for personal introspection that calls for a time of personal meditation and mindfulness to just sit down and think grand issues about yourself from the inside so that's why covid-19 offers you that facility to sit alone and look deep into yourself so that you can harvest from your internal resources and then when you do this too you need to deliver your conviction how has it become conviction what you see inside and you have become conscious of by the time you begin to apply it. It becomes a conviction because you have experienced it yourself and that is how to make your presence very real in life so other people shift away their focus critically from themselves and they put it on what is happening around them and before you know it they become vulnerable to fear boredom panic especially when they look at the newspaper or the tv and they hear that oh so so people good number of people died today and this happened that happened this person got infected that person got infected you are not at the mercy of all those things when you understand the statement from your emotional ecosystem it has better messages to tell you to package you so that you can manage without damage 
don't create the damages out there by looking at what is ongoing and letting them having a feel in your mind no you are too much for that you must keep your internal emotional ecosystem running by conscious connection and this is how you produce and transform your life and environment from concept to consciousness then to conviction and this is your capacity to follow through the scenario that is called creativity when you follow that line up from concept to consciousness and then to conviction whatever you rise up to do through that three step is called creativity because it is something that came out of you in all original and you know what creativity is the mother of productivity and this is the simple story of how you can make your lockdown very productive you dig deep into your internal resources for external responsibility out there so number eight language of your emotional ecosystem is saying you are responsible for load shedding don't sit down at home accumulating excess fat no shape up engage in certain aerobics look at what you can do to stay smart and fit during this time leave the negatives because negatives are developed in the dark room of life concentrate on positives look at what works around what flows with you what treats your vibration on a daily basis this is to help you keep fit and functioning so never stay idle number nine language of your emotional ecosystem says you have to clutter and declutter in order to expand into your own universe where do you need to cross your t's for example where do you need to dot your i's your emotional ecosystem will show you that where is that excess growth that you need to chop up so that you can produce better your emotional ecosystem will tell you just that so that you can shape up to keep fit very vital and then number 10 your emotional ecosystem is saying you are able to hold the space and beautify your surrounding just by connecting with yourself when you connect with yourself your flow comes out onto certain floors of operation and that is excitement for you now look at this formula as i bring this session to a close do you want to catch fun and be excited then excitement is a result excitement is a result of inner alignment coupled with your outer assignment so when you are aligned with who you are on the inside and you find the right and appropriate activity for an assignment you'll be very excited and the right time to do it is during lockdown where there is virtually no disturbance anywhere you can sit down, you can look at issues and create these values for yourself. These are the languages of your emotional ecosystem. Listen from today and do something right and you'll be glad you did. Please stay safe out there even as you communicate and connect with people. Thank you so very much. I'll see you next time. Cheers.